Hey everybody, welcome back to the Cast King channel. My name is Julian from Bite the Bait Fishing. Today we are doing yellowtail snapper fishing out on the reef, straight out of Key Largo on the Gulfstream party boat. Stay tuned, it's gonna be a lot of fun. First yellow tail of the day, not a bad one. Not a bad one. Bam, look at that, solid tail. Cut in the head. Throw your own scatter. I did throw my own scatter. I did, right to the left of him. But hey, it's all good. I don't think so, but it's all good. Yeah, I got you. There we go. There's number two. Oh, yeah. Number two. Light tackle, baby. Come here, baby. Oh yeah. That's another one right there. Another tail, baby, another tail, number two. So really quickly, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about the gear I'm using today. Now, traditionally for snapper fishing, reef fishing, you're gonna to wanna to use a rod that's a little bit heavier, but I am pushing the limits today using the Speed Demon Pro bass rod with the Mela 4000 and 12 pound fluorocarbon line. And we're gonna see if we can catch some fish. I know we can, but we're gonna see what this rod can do. Give you guys a quick look. This is the worm and jig rod from Cast King with the wind grips absolutely sick you guys got to definitely check it out got the Mela 4000 set up with 12 pound fluorocarbon and uh it should be perfect i love using light tackle when it comes to yellowtail snapper fishing so those are some quick tips if you're out on the reef what are you going to want to be using for hooks well you can use single hooks if the current isn't too heavy i prefer to buy these hooks that are called yellowtail magic hooks little yellowtail jigs. These right here are the absolute best. They come in many different colors. You can get them white, yellow, pink, red, green, you name it, they got different colors. Sometimes they're actually really hard to come by, but those are my absolute go-to whenever I'm yellowtail snapper fishing. I always got a yellowtail jig on, and they also come in many different weight categories. So depending on how fast that current is ripping out, you might need a little bit more lead, or you might need less if there's not so much current. So that's a quick tip. You're gonna wanna use fluorocarbon leader or mono, 15 pounds or less. You don't wanna go heavier than that because these yellowtail snapper are super finicky. So keep that in mind. Light line works really well with a yellowtail jig or a single hook and you guys are good to go. You don't need anything else. All you gotta do is pretty much follow what I'm doing on the boat. Now one tip that I'll give a lot of you guys, maybe, <clears throat> maybe a lot of you guys aren't big on reef fishing, maybe you haven't never been on a party boat, maybe you've never been offshore in your life, but you're gonna go on vacation. Let's say you come down to South Florida and you wanna do some yellowtail fishing and you wanna have success out on the reef. One big thing when it comes to yellowtail fishing that a lot of people don't know is you gotta be consistently feeding the line out of your reel. If you just think you're gonna cast out your line, close your bail and they're gonna come eat your, your jig, you're not gonna catch a damn thing, I guarantee that. So you wanna be consistently releasing line out just literally pushing that line out and sometimes you'll let out 100 yards 150 yards you have to really back up do the whole cycle again but trust me it is guaranteed the right way to catch yellowtail snapper out here and uh yeah those are pretty much the only tips that i got for you guys let's get back to the video and let's do some fishing Ran 
ran right back to the boat. Not bad. Sweet. Oh, I think you got hit by something. My hand slipped off it though. My hand slipped off. You know? Oh, oh there it is. Hello. Hello. Goodbye. 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 There we go. Oh yeah. Hey, put them on the out. Yeah, they're out there too. Oh man. Yeah, it's a light pole though, it's a bass fishing rod, so I'm trying to do that. This for catching largemouth. Oh, came off. Come on, keep I'm tangled with your line somewhere and come to this side of me. Or am I on which side am I on of you? Entrada tuya. Para no cruzarlo. Winching them in. Oh, what'd you get? Come in, baby. Come in, come in, come in, come in, come in. Come in, come in. There it comes, there it comes, there it comes. All right. Look at that one, all lit up. Looking real nice. There you go. The lady tells me what I say. Thank you. 
gotta, you gotta swing him on over, buddy. Right One on the head. One on the head. All right, you guys. Man, I just sat down in the car. It's been a long day. I could tell from looking at myself in the camera that I am red like a lobster right now. Been in the sun all day. I predicted it just right. The weather was fantastic out here. We didn't even move spots. That's how good of a spot we were sitting on today. The yellowtails were flared up, as you guys saw from a couple of those images of them throwing them into my cooler. I donated at least seven to eight fish to the boat that I didn't even put a mark on my head, you know, because you could only keep a limit of 10 and it was just myself out there. So holy cow, I caught some studs out there on the reef. It was a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And until that next one, man, I will see you later. Peace.